Hi guys, welcome to Mobizium. I'm Ruchi. So after the full review on OnePlus 5, we played and tested the device for around a week and while doing so, we came across several features which we thought we should share with you and the people who are new to OnePlus so that it would be useful to them. So now let us dig into the device, the tips and guides to the OnePlus 5. And before that, if you haven't watched the full review on OnePlus 5, do watch it. The link is in the description below. So right from the first day, the first thing I noticed was if we hold an icon, so it would pop some shortcut menu which would allow us to perform various quick actions. But this feature is only available in the Google app, so like the Gmail, the Drive, so if we long press the Google Drive, we have the, the features like search, scan and upload which we could perform but this is just only available to the Google app. So it is up to the developer to enable this feature in various other apps as well. Another major feature of the Oxygen OS is the shelf screen. By swiping right on the screen, this is the shelf drawer. So we can organize the shelf, we can organize the widgets by choosing any of it according to our preference. Like let, let me select the OneNote widget and we can reorganize it according to our priority level and we can also set the size of it. So it is just the swipe away. So we can quickly access from the shelf menu our recent apps, our recent contacts and stuff like that which is important to us. The alert slider is a nice feature that isn't common on Android phones for some reason. Like if we put the alert slider in the down position which is right now, it puts it into the ring mode. If we keep it in the middle position, as we can see, it puts the phone in the do not disturb mode. And if we put the slider all up, then it would be in the silent mode. And as we can see, there are settings available. Like if we keep it in the silent mode, should the alarm be enabled, the media, it should enable the vibration or not and features like that. Okay, so when the phone is in the do not disturb mode, the settings available is the reminder setting, the events, the alarm, repeat callers, like if same person calls within 3 minutes, it should allow the call to ring and stuff like that. And if we put it into the silent mode, the settings for it is the alarm setting, the media and to enable or disable the vibration. Alright, so now let us figure out the button thing here. Like we have quite a flexibility here. We have the capacitor buttons as well as the on-screen navigation buttons. Right now which we are using is the capacitor buttons. So if you want to on the navigation buttons, go to the settings buttons and enable the on-screen navigation bar. We can also customize the button like long press action and the double tap action. So if we long press the home button, it would open the Google Assistant and we can double tap the home button to lock the phone so the on-screen navigation button is kind of convenient while gaming as our hand would directly fall on the capacitor buttons which we have disabled now just like any android phone for taking screenshots we press and hold the power button and the volume down button and also there's one another feature added to it that is the expanded screenshot and also there's a three finger swipe feature added to it for taking a screenshot like we just have to swipe our finger off and the screenshot is taken so for example let me show you how it works if i take a screenshot press this button then it would keep on scrolling so i have to tap the screen to stop scrolling and the expanded screenshot will be captured so this is how our expanded screenshot would look like and if we want to disable the this three finger gesture then we have to switch on to the settings click on the gesture menu and we have to disable the three finger screenshot now talking of the thing which is common in the android phones that is the split screen multitasking like we can just select any random app which we want to multitask with but we have to remember that it has to be a google app as this feature is only available in google apps and let me take some another app now we can multitask between these two apps we can set the size according to the way we want and if we want to use just a single app we have to simply slide it off and we can use this app now talking about the night mode of the oneplus 5 it kind of calibrates the screen color temperature to match our surroundings and this is done in order to reduce the eye fatigue and darker environments like the oneplus 5 night mode is quite flexible we can set it to turn on automatically from sunrise to sunset or we can have a custom schedule set by us. 
now uh, the intensity of the night mode can be varied according to our requirement now this one plus five has its new vibration motor which is less noisy and it has more customization options like if we switch on to the settings sound and vibration we can change the incoming call vibration pattern which is something new which is to be seen like these are the various vibration patterns provided and also there are other settings that is vibration on tap vibration intensity that is incoming call whether or not it should be light medium or strong up to us the notification intensity vibration on tap and stuff so this is all about the vibration thing in oneplus 5 yet another feature of the oneplus is the reading mode now this mode would provide you a reading experience just like a e-reader for example let me well it would turn everything black and white just like we are reading a kindle if we could not find this reading mode in the notification bar we could go to the settings display and the reading mode and we could turn it on manually we could also add apps for reading mode like this reading mode will turn on automatically when these apps are opened and turned off when they are closed like we can select it according to our requirement the one which we are using on a daily basis now as we have set few apps like the gmail google and instagram on reading mode so when we so now this is not on uh, in the reading mode thing right so i have disabled the reading mode but even if even then if i open my gmail then it would automatically turn into the reading mode as you can see the display has turned black and white yet another feature of oneplus 5 is the gaming do not disturb mode so once i enable it it would block the notifications when we are gaming and it would also disable the capacitor buttons so this is kind of very useful when you're gaming when you are a legit gamer because your hand accidentally fall on the capacitor buttons but if it is locked then it would do no harm and this wouldn't ruin your gaming experience now there's also this addition to it that is the ambient display which would wake screen when you receive a notification now this gets kind of annoying for some people so you can disable it according to your requirement another feature of oneplus 5 is the secure box in the file manager so this would store all your private files and it would be only accessible with a six digit pin or a fingerprint scan so for let me show you with an example if you if i want to store this in my secure box and i have to just tap this and set it secure it is secured in my secure box and if i have to remove this then i have to make a long press and remove from secure box this is all i have to do for securing my files and removing it now we can also change the theme of the device it can either be light or dark but going for a darker wallpaper is a simple and efficient power saving trick due to the phone super amoled display the color white requires the most out of the screen in terms of power draw while the pixels can be completely turned off while black is displayed thus a black or dark wallpaper will save you a decent amount of power okay so we would play with the device with the black theme itself now there are various gestures provided in the phone like flip to mute you can flip the device on incoming call to mute it then double tap to wake then there is this uh, draw o draw v s m w thing so uh, what we have set is when we draw o to the screen it would open the camera so let me show you if i draw a o it would open a camera as we can see here all right now let us see what the fancy new dual camera system and the dedicated app can offer we can set the brightness level by long pressing it and setting it according to our requirement we can also lock the autofocus and outer exposure by simply doing a long press now this is useful for a whole lot of things such as maintaining the same focus point by swiping it to the left we have a depth effect or a portrait mode wherein it would focus on the object and blur the background and if we swipe it to the right we have the video mode we have optical zooming up to 2x and once we hold it then we can do the digital zooming up to 8x now it also has a burst mode by holding the shutter button will make the camera shoot up to 20 shots in burst mode you can then browse each of the photos taken by clicking on the burst mode you can select a best photo out of the 20 photos taken and you can save it while the rest would be deleted this is what the burst mode is all about 
सो दीज आर आर टिप्स एंड फीचर्स विच वी थॉट वॉज वॉट शेयरिंग डू कॉमेंट इफ यू थिंक वी हैव मिस्ड ऑन समथिंग एंड लेट इस नो विच फीचर इज योर फेवरेट वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड फॉर मोर डिटेल्स लॉग ऑन टू वेबसाइट मोबीजियम डॉट कॉम एंड डू सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर रिव्यूज ऑन लेटेस्ट स्मार्टफोन्स थैंक यू सो मच